Did you know that iron deficiency is the highest mineral deficiency worldwide? Did you also know that you can make an herbal syrup to supplement iron right at home? Here's how I do that. There are many reasons why someone can be lacking in iron and you need iron to support so many different functions of the body. Iron deficiency is marked by things such as extreme fatigue, hair loss, depression, sleeplessness, restless legs, difficulty concentrating, brittle nails, achy joints, listlessness, and feeling cold. Iron deficiency can also be tricky as unless you are at an anemic level, some professionals will consider it not worth treating even if you're suffering from the effects of it being slightly low. The best place to get the nutrients we need is always with our food, and iron is no exception. The best food sources of iron are animal products such as red meat, seafood, and liver. There are some vegetable sources of iron, but our bodies don't absorb that iron as well as they do the meat sources. If for whatever reason you have trouble getting enough through those sources though, you may need supplementation. And when I found myself in need of a natural iron boost, I looked to the next food source on the list, herbs. Herbs are an amazing way to get so many nutrients because the vitamins and minerals in them are super bioavailable, meaning they are processed extremely well in the body because it is a natural food source. With this syrup, I'm combining herbs high in iron with herbs high in vitamin C as the C helps the iron absorb more efficiently in the body. There are multiple herbs you can choose from that contain a high iron and vitamin C content, which you can find great lists just by looking them up. I have chosen a combination of herbs which includes red raspberry leaf, chickweed, catnip, mullein leaf, burdock root and bilberry for the iron and red clover flowers and rose hips along with the red raspberry leaf for the vitamin C. You want a total of about one cup of herbs so what I'm doing is using about two tablespoons of each herb to help it come up to about one cup. Since I only have a couple of herbs that represent the vitamin C I am using four tablespoons each of the red raspberry and the rose hips to help increase the vitamin C content. Once I have my herbs chosen and measured I'm going to start by making an infusion which helps to gently draw out out the benefits in the herbs. Vitamin C is a little volatile in the heat, so you want to draw its benefits as gently as you can. Pour your herbs into a quart jar. Bring to a boil about four cups of water. Once it's boiling, pour the water over the herbs, filling the jar the rest of the way. Place a lid on top and set it aside to infuse for one hour. Once the hour is up, strain off your herbs, making sure to squeeze out all that nutritious liquid from them. You can use a strainer with a spoon or put it through cheesecloth and squeeze it out. You should have about two cups of liquid left. The general ratio that I like to use for honey in an herbal syrup is one cup of honey per pint of liquid. So since we have one pint here, I'm going to mix in one cup of honey. Now your syrup's ready. I like to take a couple tablespoons one to two times a day, making sure to take it between meals as things like dairy, coffee, and egg yolks can actually interfere with iron absorption in the body. For best shelf life, store your syrup in the fridge where it should be good for up to six months. If you prefer, you could also use a blend of herbs like this for a tea as well. I like to make it into a syrup though as it's easy to grab when I'm in a hurry. Plus honey is another food that helps our bodies absorb iron more efficiently and with a syrup, it comes already mixed in. So making your own iron syrup at home is simple, easy, and more cost effective and allows you to make a syrup that caters to the needs your body has in a really efficient way. Thank you so much for watching.